What's up everybody, it's your boy Marsman here, and today we're going to talk about the August update, which was just dropped by 3 for 3 by Unishek, and essentially this is the kind of rumored mid-season update that a lot of people have been talking about, and 3 for 3 has a lot of juicy material here, and we're going to jump right into it and talk about all the key things that you should know for next Wednesday, which is obviously going to be a big date for us all, so let's just jump right into it, but before we do, if you like these type of updates, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. But let's jump right into this and the, kind of the biggest thing I see right away is the dropping of this map known as Dredge. If you don't know, Dredge is a remake from the classic Halo Reach map Countdown. If you don't remember, I'll bring it up on the screen right now. Basically, this was a kind of a major map that I really enjoyed from Team Slayer and other game modes. I know Infection has kind of been a really really enjoyable game mode for this in halo reach i'm actually really excited to jump into it and i'm really happy that infinite is bringing this map back unishek had announced that on wednesday you'll be play, able to play dredge 24 7 which is a kind of a really great thing to see especially because We've always had difficulty matching in these new maps that they've been using. And I feel as if having this be included is really great because now you're getting kind of maps from all different Halo games because generally we've always kind of seen remakes from Halo 3 or Halo 2, but now we're starting to get maps from Halo Reach, Halo 4, and I'm hoping to see some Halo 1 remade maps as well. Be able to jump into all the different ones and even Halo 5 as well. I mean, we've, we did have the Plaza remake brought back. The question is going to be which ones are we going to see next? And the fact that we're going to be able to get this map in arena right off the bat and get to play this in like team slayer or other different playlists like obviously strongholds or even capture the flags one flag ctf or anything like that i mean this is a great map to play on and i'm really excited to get my hands back on this or just jump back into this all together it's a fantastic halo reach map but on top of that 343 seems to be making a lot of other smaller adjustments or just updates that kind of fix the meta of the game so far a lot of things that people have been really complaining about or really trying to get feedback on and obviously 343 needs to address these things. so first things first the biggest one is a lot of this stuff has to do with big team battle which i'm actually all for i've been saying this since day one big team battle is my favorite playlist to play and we need as much updates as possible to make this a fun experience so the first thing and i've been itching for this for a long time is improved pelican drops the fact that we've had big team battle be a really fun game mode all right all the way around Big Team Battles had a very rough kind of go ahead in Halo Infinite where it didn't work for the first really two months of the game itself. And then when we finally had a consistent game mode, they've had issues with Pelican drops. And now 343 says that this is fixed. Now they will have symmetrical vehicle drops and people will not have one side get a tank, one side not get a tank, and it could just completely change the game. They said that there was an issue within the code itself and now we'll actually be able to kind of see this consistently happen on the right way. They do make a quick little Little note which is kind of interesting to me due to the different pelican paths it may not drop the exact same time but they will be dropping the same vehicle so my only hope is if it's like oh, a second off from each other that's fine but if it's like drastically different that could be a big problem because my biggest hope is that it's a second off other than that i think it's pretty soft but next thing is like small updates from here big team battle fire team improvements basically meaning that uh, we've always seen how sometimes when you're in a, playing with a squad of people you don't actually match up with your squad members. You can't have that little entrance where you kind of show off, hey, this is my crew, and they've never really fixed this. They've kind of made it so that, yes, you can see the colors of your fire team with you, but never exactly like chilling in that opening scene together. So you can't just squad up together and know exactly where each other are. But now they said this is officially fixed. They made it so that you will spawn with each other. This was a thing that was in Halo forever. So it's kind of, it's great to see that they are fixing that. Next thing is extermination. This has to do with the game, the kind of the famous medal that you earn for exterminating the entire team. A lot of times people would say whenever there's a kind of elimination game mode, if you eliminate the remaining players, like all players, you get that game, the, that special medal that we've seen in Halo 5 and others before. I think one of the biggest things I missed from this medal was that like in Halo 5, if you were to eliminate the entire team, you get the special, not only just the overkill, but extermination, like you wiped out the whole team. And I think that now that you're including this, there have been many overkills I've had in arena game modes that I never got to have that extermination. And I'm now happy that I get to hear that. I literally had like two overkills in one 
match like straight up yesterday and i'm literally finally gonna be able to have extermination be be yelled because i've been excited to finally get this and now that we are is a good thing too the death cam improvement i think is a really cool thing it's really more just about the aesthetic a lot of people want to be able to look about the surroundings of the player to kind of get a little bit more of a strategic advantage but not even just that no also knowing like this is a function in the original halo games i think that this little fix is a good thing for the fans a lot of people were asking about it so it shows three for three is actually changing it and just but the big next biggest one i think is the fact that we're getting reactive water and this was something i mentioned at the start of the season four update in my kind of review and i'll put that in the description below but basically one of the things that forge was adding was the fact that we can add planable or adjustable water but the problem was is that the water would not be it was more of a static it was more of a static object meaning that it's not you can't really interact with it you can't really there's not going to be any movement in it or bullet kind of showing any bullets going through or, or grenades or vehicles so it kind of just looked like i kind of i kind of called it cyberpunk water and basically now that they are actually adjusting that to be dynamic objects meaning that now you'll actually be able to have things go through it you can see kind of reactions to it this actually makes maps a little bit more realistic and actually be on par with being a kind of dev made map and they kind of mentioned this in the update here that this is no longer just going to be kind of like a forge you can tell this is a forge created map it's going to be literally on the same level as how the devs make their maps so i'm actually really excited to see how people now adjust this and make this these new forge maps look super realistic on top of that we're starting to see even forge get updates when it comes to like the ui and kind of adjustments and i think this is a great thing it makes it life a lot easier when trying to like adjust like how these different parts of forge work it's more easier for newcomers to just manage it a lot faster because it's a beast if you don't know how to use forge it's hard to just jump in and try out and even tagging along with that hey three for three had announced that forge is now ex asking people to make different seasonal versions of their maps so that you when you create a map like for example new big team battle maps like valhalla or others can now have like a seasonal version of them so you can have more of a snow-based version of valhalla fall based version spring summer all that stuff so that it's seems as if when the different seasons arrive they're looking to make different versions of the maps which i think would be straight up like badass like if i'm getting like remember the, all the different leaks that we had about forge you can create the entire weather to be completely different based on whatever you want and imagine getting winter versions of big team battle maps or arena maps that actually adjust or change what the map layout looks like because of a winter version i think that'd be really cool and not only just that but on the same week on august 8th we're getting in celebration of the halo outcast book we're getting the return of the arbiter's color scheme that's free in the store bundle for everybody which i am honestly just a fan of the fact that we're getting free content content and on top of that like it's it's showing off our boy Arby and getting a color that kind of matches his scheme I think this is such a good little update to add alongside this mid-season expansion that we're getting I'm a fan of getting anything that resembles Arbiter so your boy's gonna be copping that thing real quick and my overall feeling about this mid-season update that's arriving obviously on Wednesday next week which is August 9th is the fact that th this shows that 3 for 3 has been constantly making updates and changes so often that it's showing that they are actually listening to the fans and they're actually making adjustments to the game that they promised that they would and i would say for a halo fan this is a great sign halo infinite has been getting w's almost on a weekly basis i i mean i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and say that halo infinite is a perfect game because it's not i mean it launched in a really bad spot with no content and if you were to compare that to really like today's in halo infinite to the launch version of halo infinite you would see two completely different games and even just two completely different outlooks of how fans felt about this game and with the fact that 3 for 3 is now adding maps daily and adding new features or functions that are fixing the game it only makes the game feel more fun and actually feels like 3 for 3 is actually trying to make this a success even if it struggled so early on and if i'm making my own calculations on the amount of maps that season 4 had added or even game modes i mean look, just think about it like halo infinite has been adding new maps like with forest and scar and you're getting the maps from the squ big team battle squad playlist which is a total of five maps of the remakes of the old ones getting plaza remake in there you're getting now a new map in dread i mean we're talking like to the levels of getting what nine maps in season four alone like that's that's insane like just think about it. we're get we got so many maps and modes in just one season compared to these almost we're almost matching the level of 
the launch of Halo Infinite. Like, if you think about it. And that's why I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, hey, 3 for 3, I'm not going to say they're perfect or anything. They aren't because they've struggled so much to this point. But one thing you can give them credit for is that they are at least trying to make adjustments to the game to make it as fun as possible. And Halo Infinite is a fun game to play when you have content. I'm just telling you right now, this is a good up. This is something that you should be excited for. If you are a fan of Halo Infinite and you are looking at what does this game have for the future, this is a good sign. It shows you that they're constantly making weekly updates. This is a weekly update, not a big one. It's not a seasonal drop. This is a weekly update, adding more things every single week. And Infinite has been getting a lot of dubs lately. Three for three. This is a solid W. You got to keep going with these types of updates updates give us more forge maps remakes new modes whatever it may be keep going keep adding this stuff and you'll definitely see a lot more people jumping back in i can tell you right now yeah i don't think this is going to be massive in population growth right off the bat but they're slowly but surely getting some popularity back they're slowly but surely getting some fan support back and there's been a, definitely a bigger change or shift in how the fans have felt about infinite from day one to now and you got to give them a lot of credit but what do you think about this mid-season update? Are you excited to jump into some remakes? Are you excited to jump back into Forge and maybe make some new maps? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.